All right, let's talk about Zach Wilson, quarterback of the New York Jets, who, hey, a lot of people have talked about playing better football this year. Obviously, the big one was against the Kansas City Chiefs, but has kind of uh, t definitely taken his game up a level from where it was, and, and I agree with that. I think he has. Even in this game, there, there's things that like are really simple, but like things that he just wasn't doing in the past. Like, like this play, you know, it's a simple play. It's kind of in a situation where third down and very long, they're just trying to play the field position game at this point, don't want to turn the ball over. So instead they have, you know, a receiver run a deeper route against this, you know, soft zone coverage. Then they're going to have another player start off blocking and then run underneath. You just hit the underneath player. Watch as Zach Wilson takes the snap. He is going to, you know, look down the field. Again, you see, it's not going to get you a first down. You have to get to the 35-yard line here. The odds of this getting to be a first down seem pretty slim. So Wilson just flips it to him, and you're able to pick up a little bit, like nothing crazy. But again, I don't even care if it went for negative yards. I don't care if he fumbled it and got it returned for a touchdown. I'm evaluating Zach Wilson's decision making. And this is so simple. It's so easy. And he was so bad at it for his first two years. Like he wouldn't do the simple stuff. And like now that he's kind of, I almost feel like in a way, fully buying into the system, that's kind of what's allowing this offense to look competent right here, right? It's not looking great, but it's looking competent. And then it kind of evolves into something like this, where, okay, you start doing that, and then you start kind of thinking about things like, oh, this is how it works, where, again, zone coverage for Denver. That's important. Zone coverage. Zach Wilson takes the snap. He is going to look towards his... First off, he starts looking towards his left, eventually looks towards his right. Doesn't matter which way he's looking. Nothing is open down the field. There's no throw here that he should make, which is, again, unfortunately been kind of a trend for Zach Wilson as the Jets. You know, Garrett Wilson's very good. I've kind of struggled getting the receiver depth for sure. But okay, you're in this situation. Well, what do you do if you're Zach Wilson? Again, last year, he would, or I don't, I don't want to say last year, like three weeks ago, he would immediately sprint towards the sideline, right? But here he's going to take a step back and flip it to the halfback. And hey, they're able to, you know, not have a complete disaster on that play. Again, don't pick up the first down. That's okay. That's not what I'm evaluating here. I, that wasn't going to be a first down play. That wasn't on the, t the table. He's starting to do the smart thing. And, and that's what you want to see from Wilson is him to just start doing the correct thing. And then it evolves into something like this, where, you know, it's almost like the Squirtle, Were Turtle, and Blastoise situation. This is Blastoise of, you know, the last, you know, it, it just keeps evolving and you keep doing more. This is going to be a zone coverage play. You have a receiver who's going to try and get into a gap in coverage. There is a corner who could come crashing down and try and make a play. Like, watch how when this play begins, you see Zach Wilson's going to look in that direction. There's there's a window to get this ball down there, right? There for sure is, but you have to make sure that your receiver can beat the corner. That's kind of the more difficult aspect of this play, in my opinion. But again, for Wilson, it's get the ball out of your hands quickly. Get the ball to where it's supposed to go quickly. Don't try to do too much. Yes, at BYU, your offense was at its best when you were running outside the pocket and throwing off balance 50 yards down the field. This isn't BYU. This is the NFL. Watch him get rid of the football quickly. He's able to push it down the field, and they pick up a decent completion there. And there's, there's Garrett Wilson, right? He's the one who made that play. Trust Garrett Wilson. Trust that if there's a little bit of space for him, get the ball in his hands, it's going to work. So, you know, for Zach Wilson, absolutely there was some real positives, I thought, to take away. As for some negatives, there were some negatives. There were, uh, this play in a vacuum isn't a horrible decision, but I think given the situation, uh, there's barely any time left in the first half. So really at this point, you want to make sure that if you're throwing the football, you're getting out of bounds, right? Going towards the end zone or getting out of bounds. Looks like this, you know, this design is to get the ball caught in the field of play, which is a bit weird. You have a receiver running a deeper route, pushing defensive players further deep. Uh, then tight end kind of runs, you know, underneath where that area could be cleared out. Watch as Zach Wilson takes the snap. He is going to look in that direction. Again, there's a window to make this throw in a vacuum. I don't hate it. But the issue is just in this spot with not very much time left on the clock. That's when it's a bad idea, in my opinion. Zach Wilson decides to make this throw anyway. There's a quick tackle. They aren't able to get out of bounds. And because of that, they never are able to kick the field goal. They don't score any points there. So like that's a that's a big play in a football game to lose you know, that situation. And just for the exact numbers, it was 13 seconds left when that play started. Uh, and they were down 13 to 8 at that point. So while it didn't end up 
mattering that much uh, in, in the grand scheme of things. They still won. At the time, it was a pretty big play and a pretty big mistake by Wilson. Also, would give some criticism to the coaching staff calling that play. I think that was a that was a, a bad play call, in my opinion. By I'm not sure if it was Hackett or who actually put in that play call. Definitely a mistake. But again, for Wilson, like you're the quarterback, you have to read these plays. You have to know when it's not going to work and throw it into the dirt. Give yourself three points at least. But hey, I guess if he's now doing the thing where he's taking too many checkdowns, I don't know. I guess it's a uh, you know it's a move in the right direction for sure. Also heading over here, this is this was another tough one. You would have loved to see him hit this. It's Garrett Wilson one on one on the outside. For whatever reason, him and Garrett Wilson uh, can't seem to get on the same page. It's weird. Their names are the same. You know, it's Wilson on, on Wilson. It should it should work out. But so far, a lot of this is happening. Zach Wilson takes the snap. He is going to look towards the outside. Garrett Wilson has a step on his assigned man. I mean, this is definitely an opportunity to get a big chunk play. As you see, Zach Wilson makes this throw, and it's just a bit bit off. It's not horribly off, but again, you had a window there. And for Zach Wilson, you know, uh, somehow it's gotten backwards, where it used to be he can hit the splash plays but can't do the simple stuff so the offense wouldn't work. Now he's doing the simple stuff, missed the splash play. Uh, hopefully you start to hit these now because, again, the, the simple stuff, it's cool to see how much he's grown. And, you know, again, he is still just 24 years old. Like, some guys are in their rookie year at 24 years old, right? That does happen, so there definitely is room for him to grow, for sure, uh, you know, in that regard, and he's continuing to grow. Like, that's good to see. You would like to see him now start to get these splash plays, because if he can put it all together that way, that's how he could really get going, and, you know, it's 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 fascinating, because we all kind of said once Russell Wills, once Aaron Rodgers got hurt, do the Jets try and get a quarterback here? Just get a decent quarterback, see what you can do to hopefully have a you know decent enough offense to maybe make a run at the playoffs. But with Zach Wilson kind of playing all right now, I guess they have a decent enough quarterback to maybe make that happen. And, you know, they decided to stick with him. A lot of people felt like maybe, you know, even myself, I was wondering, okay, maybe they're just trying to make sure they get as good of a draft pick as possible for next year. Why use draft capital when next year's now, when Rodgers comes back, your real shot to win it all. But hey, who knows? Maybe they have a quarterback of the future or maybe Zach Wilson goes somewhere else after this year if he continues playing well and is able to get a job there. I don't know. It, it could A starting job there could be interesting. Um, you know, and hey, next four weeks, got Philadelphia next week. That's not easy. But then you play the Giants, the Chargers, and the Raiders. Definitely an opportunity to, if nothing else, pad some stats. So could be interesting to see where he goes from there. Still, I don't think it's playing like great football, but at least it's playing competent football, which is a pretty massive step up. Uh, and these past two weeks, I think it has been like, you've been a solid player. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.